Mike Paul from Salisbury Synthesizers. Uh, we're a, base, a company based in Tottenham in London in the UK. Uh, we make 8-bit digital synthesizers. Uh, a couple of years ago we launched our first one, the Megatron, and we've been releasing software, new software versions for that uh, over the last year. Uh, and most recently the Auditron, which is an uh, analog emulating synthesizer, uh, still using the same 8-bit engine. And new for NAMM is our first Euro rack module, which is the Ossitron, which will be out later this year, probably around April time. It's a wavetable oscillator that uses the same uh, uh, wavetables and filter algorithms as the classic app Megatron, but adds a few new features as it changes things around a little bit. Um, also obviously provides CV input uh, on a load of parameters, so you've got complete control. If I start with this one, we've got CV on the pitch there, and the other key thing we've got here, if I just take away the pitch, is the ability to change the resolution of the waveform. So, with, whereas the Classic App Megatron uses 32-bit uh, wavetable engine, you can change it between 128 and then 64, 32, 16, and by the time you get 16, it's a lot crunchier. When you're on 32, it's uh, 128, it's got a lot more subtlety than the waves. You can hear you can get more vocally formats like that. And we've also got the, set, the filter algorithms from the Classic Out of Megatron 2. So we've got the, uh, got the low pass, high pass, fan pass. There's actually 15, so I won't do them all now. There are some really distorted ones as well. That's like a 100 dB filter. And then uh, things like the pulse width. Again, controllable via CV, so I could... And the phaser as well, controllable via CV. And then if I move to the other one I've got on demo, this is the other main feature that this has, is an audio input now, so you can capture your own wavetables. So uh, I've got... Um, if I click this button here, I've got a microphone going to the audio in. I've got a clock signal going to the capture gate in. And if I start capturing one... Uh, and if I start doing held notes, you'll be able to hear... Uh, obviously not designed specifically for a microphone, uh, you could put another oscillator through it and give it an 8-bit crunch. Um, many, many possibilities. The other thing finally it can do is a continuous mode where it just samples and outputs wavetables as fast as it can, which produces a sort of vocoder effect. One, two, one, two. If I remove the gate, so you could run a whole mix through it and create an interesting bus effect or something like that. Possibly a lot of possibilities there. So yeah, that's the main new features. Um, there's also a pitch quantizer, 16 several patches. Uh, as well as the 13 factory wavetables, there'll be 30, uh, sorry, 32 factory wavetables, there'll be 32 user savable wavetables. Um, coming out around April this year, and around the $299 that the original Ant Megatron was launched at. So to find out more about uh, my products, go to www.salsbysynth.com. Uh, there'll be news, all the latest news is on there.